A soldier from Buffalo was declared dead decades ago, but it took until recently for his remains to be confirmed found. We first told you about this story a few days ago, and tonight, News 4's Dave Graber spoke to his family, which finally has closure. Dave? Corporal Roy Fink left Buffalo in 1950, joining the U.S. Army and other military branches in what would be a deadly exchange in North Korea. His family would never hear from him again, and they never received the confirmation that he'd been killed on that battlefield until just nine weeks ago, when the dots were connected after 66 years. We never thought we'd uh, hear anything about him ever again, but here it is. After 66 years, Corporal Roy C. Fink found his way home, arriving Wednesday afternoon to full military honors. It's now as it should be for Fink's family, a rightful reception for an American hero. And it's a, a mixed emotion between uh, condolences and, and happiness. So, you know, we're, we're happy that uh, Uncle Roy is back. That's Paul Dufresne, Fink's oldest living relative, who provided the DNA link to the U.S. Army that connected his remains to his hometown. Fink last left the Queen City in 1950, coming home on leave for a few weeks before being deployed to fight in North Korea. He and thousands of other U.S. troops fought there at the Chosen Reservoir. In the dead of winter, they were surrounded by the Chinese. Most didn't return. It's believed thousands still remain on that battlefield and thousands more unidentified. The dictatorship in North Korea at this time, when the thoughts about my uncle would have, have come along in the last year or two, I, I just, uh, I never thought again within my lifetime that uh, we would probably uh, find them. That's how it was for Fink until about nine weeks ago, even though his remains were recovered during an operation by the Department of Defense in 2001. In addition to family and friends, dozens of members of the Patriot Guard riders showed up Wednesday to the airport to pay tribute. He was a missing in action for 66 years. We got him home. That's what it means to us. For that and so much more, the family is thankful for a day they never thought they'd witness. Our families told us that our uncle was the, uh, the unknown soldier. And um, that's what we believed. Our uncle was the un unknown soldier. Completely unknown until, again, nine weeks ago. There will be a visitation for family and friends tomorrow for Roy C. Fink, and he will be finally laid to rest on Friday, just like today, with full military honors. Live in the studio, Dave Graber, News 4 at 530.